Hey guys, Katie Krause here for Hollywire.com, and today we have David Gallagher, Josh Sugarman here to talk about their new movie, Trophy Kids. They're called, among other things, millennials. There are about 80 million of them born between 1980 and 1995, and they're rapidly taking over from the baby boomers that were raised by doting parents and played in little leagues with no winners or losers or all winners. They're laden with trophies just for participating. When I grow up, I want to be That's what you want, and that's exactly what you'll be. He's such a special young man. Kind of talk to me about the movie and what it's about. The Trophy Kids is about Generation Y. It's about a generation of kids who had grown up their entire lives being told by their parents and by their teachers and by the media how special they were. Mm -hmm. And that moment, and in this case in their mid-twenties, when they get out in the world and realize that perhaps they're not as special as they thought they were. Talk to me about your character, Reed Davis. You play a playwright. Yes, right? uh, yes. yes. Reed, Reed Davis uh, is a playwright in the script and he obviously thinks that he's much better at his craft than, uh, than he appears to be. I really related to his sense of self-doubt with his art and wanting to be really great and wanting to live up to uh, as special as he was told he was and, uh, and, and struggling with that and maybe not doing it and then fighting with the, with the thought of maybe I'm going to fail at, at being special. We, we, for you, oh, you're so special, answer me, you unbelievable pussy. I hate you. I hate you. Well, you co-wrote the movie, so kind of talk to me about the inspiration behind it. You know, I, I had a friend who was over actually at, at my uh, my producing partner Brandon's apartment, and he was just getting back into the workforce and looking for a job, and he was having a tough time, and he said something to the extent of, you know, uh, the, how special I thought I was. It doesn't seem like employers, you know, agree necessarily, and we kept hearing the same thing over and over again, and when the economy started to turn, and jobs were harder to find, especially if you were young and just entering the workforce, it became pretty clear that not only had one kid been told they were special, that an entire generation of kids had been told they were special, and, and that's a problem. Do you think that that problem can be rectified at this point, or is it something that's irreversible? We are completely screwed, but you know what, it's not entirely a bad thing, because mm -hmm. it's get this probably unintentional side effect is when times are bad, we're still maybe irrationally optimistic. We're out there, we're trying to do things, making movies. Three, this is like 50 pages in three weeks. This is amazing. Will you be starring in this movie? Who can play me better? When I was that age, I punched in and out, and I thank God for the privilege. And cut. Talk to me about the casting process and why you thought of David for this role. Oh, David came in and he sat down and he responded to the material and we talked about the material. It had nothing to do with what, who David was as a previous actor. It had everything to do with who he was today. Well, you guys shot the movie in New York, uh, 2009. So kind of talk to me about the biggest challenges that you had to overcome. What year is it now? 2011. Oh, jeez. 2000. Yeah, we shot it in 2000. Yeah. It was our first film. Mm -hmm. I don't even think we knew how ambitious it was until maybe 2010. And, uh, <laughs> We, it, it has a lot of visual effects, and I think, it, it, looking back, that was the biggest challenge. I'm going to tell you something. With you kids, sometimes I'm not sure where reality ends and everything else begins. And what do you guys hope that audiences take away from this movie? What's the big lesson? Both of you. Oh. You go first. Oh, me go first? <laughs> so we, that's the game. That's, that's, <laughs> I really think at the end, uh, the Trophy Kids is, is a story for our generation, so it's really about the realization. Uh, it's about um, our generation going to see the movie and realizing, you know, the same thing that we realized making it is that maybe we're not all so special and, uh, and if we really want to be that special person we were told we were, that maybe we should work extra hard Harder, at it. Right. Well, I have to know, what's the most coveted award or the best trophy that you guys have ever gotten in your real lives? Uh, uh. <laughs> For me, the best reward is, is always my next job. It's always, uh, it's always getting hey. into uh, deeper into my career and trying to, um, trying to develop myself as an actor and as that special person that I was told I was. I'm actually going to go with the same answer. My, my, my best award is, is David's next job. What is your next job? Do you know? I know you have Super 8. I do. I do know. Well, that, that is that is my next job. What, what I'll be working on next, who knows? I have no idea. Uh, I do have Super 8 coming out this week. In fact, we're premiering today. I'll be there tonight. And, uh, and I'm really, really excited. That's uh, this actually the first time I've been uh, able to say that in a public forum. So it's um, I'm really excited. You're going to have to stop for us on the carpet tonight. 
Absolutely. <laughs> I'll, well, I'll be there. <laughs> All right. Please, well, please interview. Yes. Hey, I haven't seen you in less so than forever. Four hours, baby. Seriously. How are you? Shout out to Trophy Kids. Shout out to Trophy Kids. Brandon Yankowitz, Josh Sugarman, Ryan Eggel, Tahina Tazi. I see you guys. I wish you guys were here with me right now. Very excited for you. Really excited. It's a really big week for you. It is sort of like the week of all weeks. It's like the mother of weeks for me.